I support allowing one high-end casino in New Hampshire for a number of reasons. It will bring an estimated 2,000 construction jobs and more than 1,000 permanent jobs to New Hampshire, providing an important economic boost that we cannot afford to disregard. Additionally, the revenue from one casino would mean tens of millions of dollars each year that can be used to restore some of our most pressing priorities and to fund services to address social costs like substance abuse and gambling addiction that already exist in our communities. I know that expanded gambling has been an ongoing and difficult debate in New Hampshire. However, I ask those who have opposed such an effort in the past to consider the realities. We can no longer pretend that gambling isn't coming to our communities. It is already here. Failure to act will allow Massachusetts to capture the revenue from New Hampshire's residents while our communities bear the costs, without the benefits. The intense competition for casinos in Massachusetts has led to 11 applications for only three licenses making it clear that there is more than enough room in our region for a New Hampshire casino. Such a demand confirms that one high-end casino in New Hampshire can be both financially viable and economically predictable in terms of the revenue it will yield for our state. I have already begun preliminary conversations with state agencies about developing a robust regulatory infrastructure and I am confident that the timeline included in this bill is realistic and workable and will allow us to protect the public interest. Senate Bill 152 contemplates the regulatory framework thoroughly and establishes a Bureau of Administration and Enforcement within the Lottery Commission to provide the necessary resources and personnel to make sure that we get it right. Across New Hampshire, our citizens have made it clear that a high-end casino is their preferred way to increase state support for our priorities. And with intense competition from Massachusetts looming, the time to move forward is now to benefit New Hampshire while maintaining our brand as a safe, family-friendly state with a vibrant outdoor economy. I thank Senators D'Alessandro, Morse, and Rausch for their sponsorship of Senate Bill 152 and their hard work to find bipartisan solutions to address our state's priorities. I look forward to continue working with members of the House and the Senate to develop a final bill that addresses concerns, protects what is special about New Hampshire, and invests in our priorities so that we can ensure a more innovative future. Thank you very much for hearing me today. Thank you very much, Governor. Thank you, Governor. An economic recovery job creation package. Uh, and I think it's important to the state of New Hampshire. And I want to point out that even those who oppose gaming have said clearly that the state of New Hampshire could lose up to $50 million in revenue if gaming is built in the South. And we know that's going to happen because the sister state has already done it. There are 11 applications in place for licenses uh, to the South. So there's a clear indication that there's an economic situation that's prevalent. It's clear there will be a negative economic impact if we don't do something uh, here in the state of New Hampshire. With that, Mr. Chairman, I thank you for your forbearance.